Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. So today we do a pra lab to experiment 3. The title is Potentiometer for this learning outcome. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain the experiment to determine the internal resistance R of a dry cell by using a potentiometer. Okay, for the introduction, what is the function of a galvanometer? Okay, galvanometer is a device or an instrument. Okay, an instrument to detect a very small current. Okay, very small current. Okay, kita tengok. Okay, kita tengok dari sini. Macam mana bentuk potensi galvanometer? This one is a galvanometer. If the needle pointing to the right side meaning that the current is positive is it turned to the negative side itu adalah current uh, negative ok so at balance point itu menunjukkan kita punya kita punya kalau galvanometer menunjukkan zero itu menunjukkan balance point ok kita tengok explain the working principle of galvanometer Ha, ni kita ada EMF line kita ada EX and then kita ada galvanometer and then ni kita ada tunjuk ni nama dia joki ok joki ni kita nak tag dekat kita punya uh, wire yang ada pada A hingga B ni kita akan tag di situ ok for the working principle of potentiometer ok kita tengok kat sini at balance Ok, at balance point Meter, kawan meter Kawan meter Is zero Ok, where the voltage Or EMF Of EX Is equal To the voltage Across E X Ini kita punya voltage E X Sama dengan voltage E X Ok so Kawan meter is Zero menunjukkan balance point Alright so Take two uses of potentiometer First one is to Measure Measure And dry cell second is to measure and unknown internal resistance of a dry cell and third is to com to compare EMF between two voltage okay this is the usage the uses of potential meter okay number four what is the relation between the resistance and the length of the wire so we know that r is equal to rho l over a so here the relation between the resistance and length so r is directly proportional to length where the row and area is constant state the SI unit and the symbol for internal resistance and MF ok so symbol for internal resistance internal resistance symbol is R and unit is ohm and then MF the unit is epsilon and the the unit is volt ok right, seterusnya di sini ok ni soalan lah ok ni circuit shown in figure 1 cell E1 has MF of 2 volt and internal resistor which can be neglect the length of potential meter wire AB and AB is 100 centimeter Okay, when switch S is open, 
okay the balance length ex and ex is 75 centimeter and then when switch s is closed and ex is 60 centimeter what is the internal resistance of it Okay, so here when the um, switch S is open, okay, so when S open, so E1 equal to E1 is equal to So we know that because MF directly proportional to L. Okay. So kita ada E1 over V X equal to L1 equal to L E X. di mana L1 ni sama juga dengan LAB over LAX ok, E1 is 2 2 over VAX equal to LAB 100 LAX when switch S is open is 75 so we can have VAX V A X ni adalah kita punya V2 V2 equal to 1.5 okay 1.5 okay so kita tengok pula when S is close okay when switch S is close So we have V A X equal to one point two four. Okay, V A X equal to one point two four. This one is when switch S is closed. This one is when S is open. Okay, so we know that V is equal to I R. VEX V is DX VEX VEX is 1.2 VEX kita tak tahu VEX so VEX is equal to 0.24 MPA Okay, 0.24 MP is our current. Okay, so to find our internal resistance of E2, so EMF equal to R, R plus R. EMF given is um, E2 lah. EMF is 1.2 equal to 0.24 plus R. So, our internal resistance is 1.25 cara antara cara lah macam mana kita nak dapatkan kita punya uh, internal resistant of the two ok dalam kita punya ni sebenarnya ok ini ada uh, macam tu ok ada kita punya internal resistance ok lah like, so seterusnya For the experiment number seven, state the manipulative variable. Manipulative variable here is a resistance. 
corresponding variable is name constant variable is internal resistance ok predict what happen if you change polarity of the dry cell ok so if we change the polarity of the dry cell change polarity ni maksudnya yang positif ke negatif yang negatif kita uh, sambungkan pada positif so then turn to one meter so turn to one meter view deflect Why the jockey should be not should be dry in the wire? Instead, the jockey should be pointed carefully. Okay, because this will wear up on the phone. The Given the circuit diagram below, discuss the reading on the voltmeter when the switch is open and close. Where V is voltmeter, E is MA, R, uh, the capital R is the external resistor and R is the internal resistor. Okay, when the switch is open, we put the reading. The rating is equal to EMF of the dry cell. Okay, when the switch is open, so the whole of the rating is equal to the dry cell. Switch open. And then when the switch is closed, the whole of the rating Okay, we go to the data analysis. The internal resistance can be determined by the following equation. Okay, the equation is given. L not over L equal to R, 1 over R plus 1. Sketch the appropriate graph. Okay. So, for our graph. Okay, so we need to do L not over L. And this one is over so kita ada kita punya
what does the gradient of the graph represent? The gradient is equal to internal resistance. Okay, in your opinion, how do we find the uncertainty of the internal resistance? Where delta R equal to delta M lah, because M equal to R, so delta M equal to delta R. List down the pre three precautions of the experiment. Okay, make sure. Okay, make sure on the wires.